Hey Crossgates, time for our midweek update. Um, the church is full of life right now. Um, we have been doing vacation Bible school, uh, primarily focusing on uh, the children over at the child care center across the parking lot. And the church has been filled with children running around, having fun, learning about Jesus, learning about character. I've um, been so proud of our church members who have uh, stepped up to, to teach again. And that caused me to, to, to wonder um, as I was driving in this morning, has someone taken your service and leadership role from you here at the church? Or, has, or have you given it up to someone? Um, I know that pastors, some of us, um, we prefer to have all the power around ourselves and control everything. And I'm just wondering, as I look around the church, many of you who have, many of you, most of you, all of you have a capacity to lead and serve and, and to give guidance in, in to our ministries and committees and, and Sunday school classes and discipleship classes and small groups, but you're not doing it. And I'm just wondering, I pause for a moment and wonder, has someone in the past taken that from you and you're wondering if maybe you couldn't do it or could it be that you reached a point where you just gave it up to somebody. You see, the church is premised around the idea that the ministers equip the saints to do the work of the ministry, that, that the, the purpose of the staff of the church is to help you do the ministry. Um, that's our ministry. And I just wanted to pause and, and ask you, is that something that has happened here? Because I don't know. But I look around at all the potential and all the opportunity, our great need for um, having new teachers in some of our classes. We have a whole adult Sunday school class that has pretty much decided to disband because um, none of them were willing to step up and teach. I find that disappointing. And yet I think there's some insight we need to, to dig into there. And that is, if you don't feel equipped, if you don't feel capable, then let me help you become that let the staff, let's help you do that. If you feel a nudge and a call to serve, and you're afraid that if you say that, people might think that you're being arrogant or, um, or presupposing something that you're not. I'm going to tell you right now, you are. You're called to serve. You're called to teach. You're called to, to lead and live by your example. Every one of you in our baptism um, are called into the ministries of the church. And so I want to lay that before you. As I hear the sound of these children laughing and playing and the smile in my heart returns to see many of our teachers who taught, um, I don't know, your children who have had to step back up or are willing to step back up, but we need new faces and we need the challenge to be laid back before this church. That God calls all of us into ministry and God is doing an amazing work and he's asking some of us to help lead that and to get involved in that. And so um, our update this week is just me sharing from my heart that I would love to see more of us be willing to step up and say, well, I don't know how to do it yet, but if you'll mentor me, if you'll show me, or if I could pair up with somebody, I'd be willing to learn. Crossgates, that's what I'm inviting you to do. I'm inviting you to consider the nudge and the pull of the Holy Spirit, the gifting and the equipping of the Holy Spirit, the calling of all of us to be disciples of Jesus Christ and to make disciples of Jesus Christ. As we, our church, now are coming back to the full, robust programs that we're used to, it's time for all of us, every single one of us, to step up. Our psalm for the day is Psalm 20. And it's a, it's a psalm that I'll cry from my heart um, as your pastor when it comes to looking for leaders and people to get involved and be engaged. Um, the Lord will answer you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. May he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill your plans. May, he, may we shout for joy over your victory and in the name of our God set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. And now I know that the Lord will help his anointed he will answer him from his holy heaven and with mighty victories by his right hand. Some take pride in chariots and some in horses, but our pride is in the name of the Lord our God. They will collapse and fall, but we will rise and stand upright. Give victory to the king, O Lord. Answer us when we call. An honest psalm from David crying out to God, help. Help with victory. 
So Crossgates, um, I, I pray the same for us, that we would all cry out to God together, help us with this victory, help us now know what to do. Crossgates, I see Christ in you. I see Christ in the children of this church and the senior adults of this church and the young families of our church and the retired couples of our church and the infants of our church. I see Christ. Well, if I'm going to see Christ, if we're going to see Christ, we also have to see an activity and an engagement of serving and loving and ministering to everyone. Come on, Crossgates. We can do this.